Hello and welcome to round two coverage from the 2017 European Open. We are in Nokia, Finland. You got a brand new commentary team. You got the sexy bird, Nate Sexton and Eagle McMahon. What up guys, pleasure to be here alongside the legend himself, Nate Sexton. <laughs> now now he's a dad, so his his commentary skills are only getting only getting daddier. Oh, I, very, I appreciate that. Okay, here we are, hole one. Triple Mando really doesn't come into play, but 92 meters, pretty much straight away, a little bit of fade at the left side. Yeah, it's really not that tough of a hole, but you're standing up on tee and you're about to play the beast, so you're feeling a little bit of nerves. And I'd say almost, I'd say about 50% of the From people USA, early Rich release on this hole, just because they're nervous. I've done it both rounds. I have too, but you got birdies at least. Yeah. So we've got Greg Barsby here. Looks like he's going with a softly thrown driver, maybe. Yeah, I think it might have been an eagle. And a great little reaction place. off the tree. Currently on the second place in the competition with a score of nine under par. The four-time world champion and three-time European Open champion representing USA, Paul Macbeth. Hat guy as our announcer. Got a lot of titles there for yeah. Paul Macbeth. Uh -huh. We don't want to interrupt the hat guy. Is Paul switching it up? Is he's going with a, a champ rock three now? Yeah, I think the McPro's been going too far for him. Okay. So he's maybe switching it up, but looks like really a similar result. He's just got a little bit too much juice. If that's just a tiny Next bit team. lower, it catches that Probably grass. It's going to be perfect. Place in the yeah, he's probably throwing it a little bit hard because he doesn't four. want that early, early release. But Danish at least he's champion. down there inside the circle. Innova yeah, I would Denmark. definitely take that if Are I you on I'm going to try that today. Here we got one of the great European players of all time. Yep. KJ Naibo. Is it 12-time Danish champion? It might as well be. I think it might be 11, but, you know, it's only a matter of time. Yeah, definitely. And that's showing you exactly why he's got so much success. He's a smooth thrower, and he Currently doesn't really throw the disc the out of bounds. No, nope. great With a score shot of seven starting. under par, representing USA, Nate Doss. And our last thrower, three-time world champion, Nate Doss. Looks like he has a challenger in his hand. I haven't tried the putter plane on this. Probably won't, but it seems like it looks pretty successful. Yeah, it's because it's downhill, I feel mm -hmm. like. It's a good play. I mean, mid or putter really doesn't make much difference. Paul has oh. been here every time I've seen him play this hole. Wow. And just low. Yeah, tough tough to have to go to a knee from that far down there. Nate just outside the circle, maybe 13 meters. Don't roll, okay. Not quite. Bars be in for two. This whole, you don't feel that bad about missing it. Thank it's definitely it's definitely one you want to get, but if I miss it, I'm not thinking it's the end of the world. No, certainly not. Barsby extending his lead. KJ with a smooth birdie. Would you compare this to hole one at USDGC? Very, very similar feel? Yeah, it is a similar feel. I mean, this hole's a little longer, mm -hmm. clearly, but it's not quite as tight. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think, I would say this is actually harder. Harder? A little, okay. just a touch. Yeah. To me, just because it is that much longer. Mm-hmm. This is uh, two, two birdies and two pars. Alright, hole two at the beast, 116 meters, finishing right, OB on both sides, and long. What's your play here? Um, I just play a overstable driver forehand. There's kind of this light pull out to the left. I kind of just aim flat to a little bit of hyzer right at that. And if I put some good power on it, I, I know it'll filter right to the circle. That's what I do, and I have a feeling that's what Barsby does. Anyone who has a good forehand 
is most likely playing it on this hole, I'd say. Yeah, so that shot, just a little inside. Probably had the power to reach the pin, but if you're inside, you, you're going to get trapped in those branches. The roller play is really good if you don't have as much confidence in your forehand, but Ooh. it looks slow. Oh, wow. Probably edge of the circle putt, but OB, mm -hmm. so he's putting for par. Paul stepping up with a road runner in his hand. Gets over on it. That's a little straight. That's looking pretty it should be that's in. looking pretty good. Oh yeah. Oh, it's very good. Yeah, right on the edge of the circle also. The roller's good if you throw it hard because there's a fence behind that will will catch it most of the time. Unfortunately KJ didn't really get as much push as he wanted to, so he yeah, the, the right side fence will not catch you, but the fence behind can. Like this was going to get caught. I probably hit the fence. Oh, it got a pretty wow, good reaction yeah, that's, off the fence. He'll have a pretty easy putt there. Nice. Barsby, just probably laying up here. Yep, smart play. No yep. reason to really press at that time. KJ, I think this is probably just around circle's edge, maybe just inside, saving his par. Big time putt. Oh yeah, fist pump oh, worthy. Yeah. That's great. Man, Ooh. from nine meters, Paul, little left. Doss converts. Nice birdie. Just one birdie there is a little surprising from these fellas. Yeah. And Barsby's in for his three. Paul will do the same. KJ with actually a nice three thanks to the, the errant drive. Mm -hmm. He had to hit that big saver. Barsby sitting on a three-stroke lead. Pretty incredible. Oh, yeah. Hole three, the only par five of the day. 263 meters. OB pretty much everywhere. Both sides. Yeah, this whole... You really just want to stay safe on all shots in there, and then if you do so, you'll have a pretty good chance of getting your birdie. So a good play off the tee is either a small turnover, forehand, or I'm not sure. Yeah, Doss takes the aggressive inside line. That's That allows you to cut off um, a lot of the fairway and get some good distance. That's a great place to be right there. I think you and I are throwing rollers here, huh? Yeah, I I'm, threw th a roller I'm throwing a D-line FD off this hole. Super understable, and it's cutting back right. I threw a Sidewinder roller yesterday. I'm a little, I'm a little surprised Barsby didn't go forehand, but yeah, I guess he has a, he's feeling confident in all shots right now. Yeah, that's kind of how it goes. Yeah, when, when, when you're 12 under through 20 holes, on a course this tough. Barsby got, oh yeah, and KJ and Barsby hit the same branch. This, this gap that they're taking is pretty tight, guys. Yeah, I would say it's only it's, 15 feet yeah, wide. Yeah, especially if they're, you're putting full power on that shot. Paul's no stranger to gaps like these. These are his favorite. the trees. This oh, is a crush. This, oh, that's incredible. Yeah, that's, that's perfect. That's perfect. Two of those and he's looking at Eagle. Yeah, if he can sneak through the trees. The toughest part about eagling this hole, I think, is just how guarded the green is. It's really, really low ceiling. There, You sort of feel like maybe you have a big hyzer, but mm -hmm. it's not really there. No. Second Ooh, shot. Ooh, safe. Oh, that just snuck in. Nice. Yeah, the second shot, you're looking at maybe just going low screamer and trying to get lucky and sneak through the, oh, the trees. Oh, same bounce. Same bounce. Oh, dang. Wow. That's unfortunate. Couple tough breaks with the branches for Barsby. Doss, this is a perfect shot from Doss. That's a really just nice, clean shot right there. Very, very easy birdie from there. A 
And let's see how, how much Paul's going to attack here. Perfect position. He's a great low ceiling thrower. One of the best I've ever seen. Oh. And he's oh, yeah. done it. That's, That's good. Probably a 15 meter or less. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Barsby with his Whoa. fourth shot going, going for the big hyzer. Big hyzer. I don't see this get through very often. Yeah, there's just so many trees up mm -hmm. there. Wow. Going for the low skip shots, definitely the play in my opinion. KJ oh, got wow. into a tough lie. Little help off the... Yeah. Fortunate to hit that fence, not to clear it. It looked like he was very near the top. I think that just put him inside the circle, too. Greg going to lay up here, try to salvage a bogey. Yeah, Looks like he will do that. And bullseye hit. Doss pitching up for a bullseye hit. Yeah, Easy birdie. Perfectly played hole. And this is Paul. You know he's running this one. Looking for the eagle. Oh. Oh, shoot. Just a little short. The, it's a little nerve-wracking with that hill behind. There's OB not... I mean, in the circle, there's OB behind what you're, it. What you're worried about is just rolls right there. And that's pretty much the only way you're going out yep, of bounds. Yeah, for sure. Hit the cage and you could go real quick. Nice birdie for Doss. Greg for a bogey. He was just a little bit unlucky on that. Yeah, on that, that kick out yeah. of bounds was pretty brutal. And then KJ taking the par. Hole four, 509 feet, one of the most technical holes on the course. This section, this is kind of the wood mm. section. If you've seen videos of the beast before, this one you really just need to get a drive out that moves to the right to have any kind of angle to hit that approach. You just want to get distance off this stage. The further you can bite off, the better you'll be on this hole. But only if you're on the right. Yeah. Because if you go left, there's really nothing. Doss through an Undertaker there. Whoa. Wow, Plinko. Yeah, that, I mean, that could have turned out much worse, but mm -hmm. still, not, not what he's looking for. Yeah, what Nate was saying. On the left side, you're unlikely to have any sort of gap towards the basket, so the best thing you can do is... Wow, that hit a tree. Wow, it did. Bounced off a tree in the air, but that's, that's, that's a place he can make a play from. Yeah, mm-hmm. What do you think? T-Bird or something? Uh, I think that might be a PD. Okay. I, know, I know KJ throws PDs. Yeah. Ooh, nice reaction there. Get him right out in the open with easy footing. It's a good spot. This uh, this is even more surprising to me that Barsby's not thinking forehand. I guess he just wants to get aggressive. I've seen Barsby lay down some really nice rollers before. So. Absolutely. That's not too bad. That that side, if you have a good forehand and you're over there, you can make something happen. Whoa, this has a lot of movement. That looks great. Oh my gosh. That was still fantastic. That's, that's still a really good spot. Amazing shot there with the turnover all the way. Probably a pretty overstable disc to come back out of that a little bit. Doss has a pretty underrated forehand in my opinion. Absolutely. He doesn't go to it quite as often, but when he does... He's got it. Wow, nice little kick there. Make that putt a little easier. Another fantastic shot. Got two inside the circle already. Paul, I would have expected a forehand, but maybe the gap is just not quite right for him. Wow, um, that's going to be a That's a tough spot right putt. there. Oh, KJ's drive was great. Really the perfect spot, especially for a... Mid-range, smooth mid-range thrower like him can just... Oh, he sawed it off a little. Pot through, he'll have a putt. Yep, through that bush makes a big difference. Ball with a long birdie look. Looks like KJ's about one meter outside. 
Nice, nice three. Up the hill. You're pumped if you're getting a three on this hole. I agree. It definitely feels like you did something right. Nate, just right. Ball for par. It's a nice bounce back from Greg after losing two mm -hmm. strokes to Paul in the previous hole. To come back, fight back, and take a mm -hmm. stroke to pad his lead yet again. And Doss with a bit of a disappointing par after a pretty, really well executed upshot, actually. Two birdies, two pars. Hole five, 100 meters exactly, downhill, and a really strong slope down to the left. What are you throwing here? I throw a sea line FD3, which is basically like a beat up firebird on a forehand. I'm just trying to throw it pretty much straight into the open gap and trying to get it to flare right. And you really can't tell what it's gonna do on this hole, you just have to put your best effort out there. Yeah, I throw the forehand as well, and it's certainly, a, there's a, always gonna be the risk of a roll away. The only shot that doesn't risk a roll away is, is something mm -hmm. like that. If you can really control the mid range right in there. That got a little bit lucky. But if he was more up the middle, mm -hmm. that's probably the purest shot you can throw. Ours be probably going some sort of eagle. I yeah, imagine. a little bit early, but we'll see if it can get a good reaction. Oh, that's wow. pretty good. Yeah, that's right around Circle's Edge right there. That's going buzz. If this that. has the right speed on it, it looks fantastic. Oh, oh no! That looked really good, but that tree just completely, re completely redirected it. And then that hillside mm -hmm. shows its teeth because a small, a small kick left turns into a and, huge thing. And that's why I like a forehand too. You're not going to get that, that kick for sure. This is finding a back door. Oh, that's good. Nice little bounce inside the circle. Doss's shot, probably, probably one of the better ones in the group, but the uh, the result didn't turn out for him. Oh wow! Greg, with what I gotta think is a rare inside the circle miss so mm -hmm. far this week. A nice birdie from Paul. That's another. This is another hole that you're not too mad if you miss. Now any hole with a hillside like mm -hmm. this, I mean you, you can never be super mm -hmm. consistent on it because there's just so many things that can happen. Two nice birdies, a couple close putts for the other two. Got Greg with a one shot lead over both Paul and KJ, pretty exciting. Hole six, 94 meters, slightly uphill. Absolutely a tunnel shot. Really mm -hmm. no other way to think about it. You have to pipe it perfectly up the middle and try to get that slide up the hill. Mm -hmm. I think most people are throwing a, a fairway driver on this shot because you want to you wanna get some good speed on this to play it into the hole and have it uh, skip up the hill. Um, KJ looks like... Ooh. Uh, that the shot looked good. It was just a little bit right. Yeah, really flippy disc. And for this hole, if you miss, you want to miss right. Because if you miss right, there's um, some bushes that really aren't that big of a deal. So you probably get yourself a putt. Oh, wow. Wow, bad bounce. But Still a putt. But he's in the right side bushes where he'll, he'll find himself with a putt. Is it far enough? It yes, is. it is. Beautiful shot. If you have confidence in the 
kind of flip up straight forehand, it's definitely the shot on this. Yeah, it's a good play. You can really put a little more power behind mm -hmm. it, I feel like, and just kind of throw a driver. Great backhand there, sliding up right to the, well, I don't know, just outside bullseye. It's somewhat rare to see KJ throw the forehand, but he's got it if he needs it for those little approach shots, absolutely. Paul's actually got a little closer than I thought. Oh, Man, boy. another putt, just slightly off the line. I expect Nate and, Nate and Barsby to clean up here. Two birdies on this hole is really good. Bird group. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, you absolutely have to pipe it. So it's, it's pretty rare. I mean, I'd say more often there are no birdies. Yeah, definitely. A little unhappy with his putt. Yeah, definitely. Yon is probably unhappy as well. Yep. Their team. Old card with a solid start. Hole seven, 551 feet. Starts out going uphill. You really want to throw a very, very straight shot. If anything, maybe move a little left, and then you can find your gap, hopefully, down to the pin. But right behind the pin, you'll see those boards. That's basically a cliff. You're going to go mm -hmm. way off that hill if you if you end up clearing that. You just want to keep it clean on this hole, off the tee, if you can just get up into a decent landing zone and then play away from the cliff on your second shot. You'll be A-OK. -okay. That's a good spot to be. There are a lot of trees everywhere on this hole, but the hole kind of opens up once you once you get out this initial tunnel. Uh, you, then you have a lot of options as how you're going to navigate down to the basket. Another pretty ideal drive. The only thing better would be to somehow maybe stay straighter. Yeah, you want there's you want to stay straight with just a very small touch of fade. Then you open yourself up with a a straight backhand shot. Up. For your approach. Wow, these guys are absolutely yeah. lacing this fairway so far. I mean, the only issue I can see you being too left is that you don't really, you have some lines, but nothing's that clean. Yeah. Paul oh. playing aggressive with a destroyer here. That's the, That's the, spot. the best shot in the group because he is very, very straight. He should have a little bit easier access towards the pin, less trees to miss. Probably throwing a Nova on his second shot. That's what my bet is. Good bet. Awesome oh, shot. That's great. Maybe we're going to see a star frame here. That would be pretty incredible. Ooh, that needs to sit. Oh, nice. Saved. saved by the one inch tall board. Oh. Eagle wins the bet. It is a Nova, but Paul doesn't he's like it. Playing away from it, but he'll have a death putt. I think he's right around the circle. Man, that really hides it out early on him. Wow, this is the best so I've ever seen. In we play. we have a chance at a star frame right now. Solid chance. Paul needs to convert here. Nice. Oh, there's one. Everybody watching at home, this hole is not nearly as easy as no. these guys are making it look. Like usually seeing one birdie on this hole is pretty good. And you pr and it's not rare to see a six. Yeah. Oh, it's looking like we're going to get it. That's awesome. Nate with a little tap in. Got the view of the lake back there. All these boats down there. Have you seen that? There's all those. I think they're just privately owned. Just a bunch of really? finished boats down there ready oh, to nice. be sailed around the lake. Wow, star frame. So good. 
really solid. Hole 8 is one of the shorter holes on the course, but it actually plays a little longer than that because it is so uphill. Tight gap off the tee. You got to be high enough to clear that first ridge of mm -hmm. land, and then you want to just kind of ideally hit in these bark chips and take a little slide up, but that's yep. a lot easier said than done. Something with a little bit of speed and just hit flat or even a little Anheuser will leave you with a uh, open putt. Forehand's a good play if you get it straight enough. It looks like... RSV just does that. That's great. Just gotta miss that one tree. I would think Nate is going mid range. Looks like a buzz in his hand. And That's a looks good angle. It's a little short. I don't think that was a that looked like a driver. May have been. Fairway driver is not a not too crazy of a play mm -hmm. here. Looked like it skipped up to some kind of putt. All going with the Mick Glow Rock Three. These guys are playing like a lead card. Yeah. I feel like I haven't seen a bad it, shot in half an hour. On that hole it's pretty common to see someone finish left or even hit a tree. Oh, no, no, oh, no. no. That's not good. This green is very slopey. That that could have rolled well. At least Nate's going next. but So maybe mm -hmm. it didn't roll as far as it looked like it could have. Wow. Oh. I hope I didn't jinx him. I, I think about we that. jinxed him. Sorry, guys. There's one. Nice birdie. Barsby's drive is totally parked. Wow, it looks uh, like Doss just went yeah. out of politeness, maybe, just to a speed of play thing, because KJ's did roll as badly as we feared. That is so Whoa. possible. You never do, think do, you're going to four this hole, but it's so possible. Do you think KJ was outside the circle? I do. Yep. That's the problem with these short par threes. If you you have a look and you're just outside the circle, you're really tempted to go for it. But maybe sometimes it's just better to lay up. Yeah, it's a big risk. But man, yeah, four is tough to swallow there. 15 under for Barsby. Fantastic pace. Oh, man. Hole 9, 103 meters, really majority forehand hole. You just get it out there on the left and count on your skip going down. There is out of bounds on the right, but it's very rarely found. This is probably the hole I hate to miss out of any hole on the course. If you have a really good forehand, then you're, I wouldn't say counting it, but you're very confident that you're gonna have a look. It's about as close to one you could count as there is on the yeah. beast. Mm -hmm. I mean, you never really want a major championship with gimme birdies, but mm -hmm. this is about as close as it gets. Barsby left himself a little bit more inside than he'd like. All gonna try to recreate some of that magic when he aced this hole a couple years ago in competition. Almost. That's a very nice shot. Oh, the backwards roll. Oh, fall look. flight. That's perfect. Inside the birch. Nice reaction on the ground. Perfect. Doss forehand. A little high, a little but high. I think it's okay. I think it's going to work out. Yep. Yep. Circle's edge. And KJ's going to show us 
the backhand line, it's... Well, there's a lot more trees, but... It's there. He can definitely hit it. Wow. Brushed it. Wow. That's safe, right? I think so. I've never seen anyone no. throw it that far. Yep, totally safe. The only OB I believe is on the right. Oh, pretty easy three, but yeah, I wonder if he's ever thrown it down there. That's a I've never seen a disc get back there. Dawson nice. Burks, nice. Outside the circle putt. I feel like I appreciate them more now that we have the metrics. Yeah, definitely. I really notice my outside mm -hmm. circle putts now because I get to say that I got one. Oh. A little offline for Greg. Oh, easy tap in. Nice birdie there. Oh, oh man. No. Wow. There's two strokes right there. Yeah. You know KJ's going to take an extra second after watching that. Yeah. Can't take those for granted. Wow. That is a tough miss. Paul Barsby tied. Okay, let's take a look at our metrics from the front nine. We've got inside the circle putts. What I noticed right off the top, none of those numbers are all that high. No, not at all. They're Obviously, leaving some strokes out there. Small sample size, but these guys need to pick up their inside circle putting just a little bit. All right, thank you guys for joining us. Hope you like the sexy bird. We will be back for part two, the back nine from round two at the European Open. Later, guys.